All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Shack. All right, what are we doing here, guys? Uh, we're sitting out here on the review table. We're going to be moving behind me, but I wanted to preface this whole video. Uh, right now, uh, Optics Planet is having basically a clearance sale deal going on called Significant Week. All right, so basically what that is is they've got a bunch of SIG products, SIG Sour, uh on super duper clearance sale and i've got a couple products that are coming in this week we're going to actually put the a rifle together based on some of the items that we're getting and the reason we're doing that is because uh i've always wanted to put this guy together this is an upper with a proof research barrel jp handguard jp upper receiver uh we're using a oh what in the world is this guy called hold on one second a precision armament muzzle brake which i've known a couple people in the competition world that use those things and we're going to go ahead and put it together uh with an ensemble from the guys over there at sig sour now i'm not gonna be able to get to the range this week to test it with this optics but we're getting the sig 77 grain in and that is one of the things i'm very excited about because uh with my super duper Sniper rifle, I was able to put the second best grouping together with that guy, uh, other than with Nexus, which was a .3638 MOA, which is a group, about five round shot group, that big at 100 yards. Okay, so what are we gonna do on this first video is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about this guy. This is the Sig Sauer. This is their Tango MSR 1 to 10 by 28 rifle scope with a 34 millimeter 1.5 alpha msr cantilever mount so with that being said you know what we're getting ready to do we're going to put this guy together we're going to put this guy on it there's a couple of little secrets we're going to have will happen we'll probably do it at tomorrow morning and then next week we'll take this thing out and shoot it so let's get on over to the table here we go stand by ted we still all right guys so here we are on the review table and uh we'll go ahead and start over with the box opening we'll go ahead and box it i'm going to go to from front to back rear to the front, that kind of thing, like we typically do on our box opening for scopes. Before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, Optics Planet KB32 tag is your discount code. Okay, you're going to get these things about two or $300 off. Okay, they have a bunch of other items over there with the discount code. You're going to be able to get a lot of cool things. This is going to coincide with some other stuff. Now, is, is this optic probably going to stay on that rifle? Uh, you know what? I don't know yet. Let's see how it performs out in the field. But let's go ahead and start off by saying this. The Tango MSR 1 to 10 by 28 rifle scope features. Here we go. High performance, 10 times optical. It is a second focal plane, which means you're not going to get the uh, the optics going to work. The reticle is going to work when it's in 10 power. Okay. Aluminum 1.5 uh, MSR cantilever. It does come with that in integrated thread in throw lever that's pretty good illuminated msr bdc 10 reticle dependable waterproof fog proof lay flat flip back lens covers uh included infinite guarantee see website okay so does what does it say over here uh all right i'm not gonna read worried about that but anyway um we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up and i've opened this up once just to take a look at it when it came in pretty neat little deal the first thing that i notice is this guys when you're paying for this you're going to go ahead and get a cnc this is a really nice uh optic scope mount uh nice thing is it does tell you what the torque specs are on the rings really nice i um, hoping this is made in america we'll see at the end of the day uh, part number does have a part number 34 millimeter tube by the way okay so you do get a ring you can anticipate you're going to pay, pay anywhere from 65 to 100 dollars for something like this so the value is pretty much there okay so let's pull this up i like the packaging and how they do this all right so we've got scope rings and i like those scope rings actually but the first thing i do with my scope rings unfortunately because i don't really care about them uh, unless it's raining as we pull those off okay otherwise in the box you get yourself a really nice little package here let's see come on get out of there uh zero two three zero battery cr two zero three two battery we get ourselves a nice sig sour uh sticker okay that feels like an iron on i'm not sure don't put these on your car ladies and gentlemen you're just giving somebody an advertising list of what they may find in your vehicle. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. It's a lens cleaning cloth. Uh, maybe. You've got yourself Allen wrench here. Another Allen wrench here. And we'll go ahead and pop this guy out just because. All right. 
Got some Chinese on there, three volt CR2032 battery. All right, that's gonna give us an indication of where we are made in the future, six hour. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. Diopter, seems really nice. Okay, so front to back, or let's go back to front. We'll do it like this. We have a nice diopter, okay. And the eye relief is really good on this thing. I've already taken it out on that. You do have your Tango MSR right here, plus or minus on your diopter. This is a screw-in uh, zoom ring uh, lever. I do like that. I, I, you know what? I'm a big fan of the ones that actually fold down. You can take it out, and you do have this raised area. You do have a green indicator right here, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, that is a little old fiber optic piece there. So you're going to see something really bright when that comes in. Now, are you a true one, two, zero? I'll get out there and take a look at it real quickly. Stand by. All right, so we took it outside, and yes, that uh, this is a really, really good true one power. Uh, what that means is you can really dial it down to go ahead and put it into a CQB uh uh, arena or avenue. Let's go ahead and put this thing in here. Go ahead and fit that in just like that. And let me look at what we got here. Put that bad boy on 10, oh, 11. Okay. Let's see if we can get you guys to see that I'm going on there. There you go, you can see it now. Okay, so now that we've got this thing at 11 power, it is really nice. And one of the things that I do appreciate, check this on your current scopes that you have, the diopter, and a couple of really cheap, you know, $120 scopes, you're gonna see that there may be some movement in here. You want this thing to be liquid, liquid good tight, just like that. This is not a rubberized uh, diopter ring here, so be careful, you get some eye strikes right there if you put this thing on the big, uh, big caliber guns. All right, let's see what we got underneath here. This is your elevation. I do like the fact that they have the up right there. That's a good deal. Uh, half MOA per click. Now, I will be honest with you. That's for something that costs this much money. Uh, I would anticipate you would at least get a quarter MOH, MOA per click. Uh, but anyway, you can hear. Very tactile. We'll go from there. All right. And let's see if we've got the same thing over here. Yes. Same thing, right, left. That's pretty cool. All right, so this is what your little guy right here is going to be. So what you would want to do, take this thing to the range, and we will take this, bring it. Let's go ahead and loosen this screw up here. Ah, there you go. This can come up, and you can reset your turrets to actual zero where you'd have it set just like that. But like with half MOA, you're not gonna get that precise on it. All right, and you put this guy on there. So if you need to make any further adjustments, and you gotta remember these are MOA, that's a half inch at 100 yards, okay? That's why I'm saying even a 10th of a mil is 0.36 of an inch. All right, move that. Same thing. I'm gonna snug that thing down just a tad. I, I don't know how much you would want to do that with, but typically about five inch pounds is what I would use. Get it uh, nicely threads. Good. I like the caps knurled on the end of it. Pretty nice deal. All right. Designed by Sig Sauer in Oregon and assembled in China. Okay, so we just covered that part. You do no no threads up here. So you don't have any thread adapters for any kind of kill flash. Let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to take this thing out and we'll put it on a rail and then we'll uh, put it on a, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? A tripod. And I'll take some photos of what that uh, reticle looks like. Now, uh, boom, there it is. There's the reticle, but let's see what it looks like in real life. Clarity. Uh, contrast. So here, let's go ahead and talk about this guy. 34 millimeter tube, which means you're going to have a good amount of light collecting in the tube. Uh, I'm not sure what the glass is that they use in the sling to kind of keep that a little secret from you. So we'll have to go ahead and mount this guy onto a rail, put it out in backyard, see what it looks like at distance, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys stand by. Once I started tightening up the rings, that's about where I ended up at. You're going to be okay. If you don't have any way of leveling the scope, go ahead and use that technique. Let's put this thing on a uh, rail. 
All right, so I tried to set this whole thing up with my camera the way I've done in the past, but it just wouldn't work out. So this is with my telephone. Now, what we are looking at is a little bit of an urban environment. No one be alarmed. This thing is not attached to a real rifle. <laughs> with that being said, this is one power, okay? And what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom out to a stack out there, uh, an exhaust stack, which is exactly 100 yards away. Here we go. Okay, well there it is, man. That is 100 yards. That is a smokestack. The clarity on this guy, the glass is pretty good. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, the reticle, of course, you know I'm a big fan of somebody else's reticle. And uh, so this was going to be interesting. We'll put this thing on a rifle and test it out next week and uh, take it out the distance. This ought to be a lot of fun. Let's get back to the table and conclude this bad boy up. But you can see the clarity is uh, really, really good. Stand by. All right, guys, there it is, man, uh, in all its glory. It's mounted up, looking pretty good. Uh, this is pretty nice. These are half-inch, if you ever wanted to know. You can take a half-inch wrench head and put it right on there. I'm going to leave this loose up until the time I go ahead and get this upper completed. We're going to go ahead and mount a 45-degree uh, optic uh, red dot on the side of it because this is a 20-inch barrel. I want the ability to go between long-range, short-range. You do have a, a pretty good red dot in here. Daylight bright. Uh, a lot to be left to desire on that part of it, but with the sail that's on with this guy, um, it's probably a pretty good op option for you if you're looking for a good above entry level and to get into this thing for a nominal price. All right, with that being said, KB32 TAC, this is significant week, significant, get it, right? Um, KB32 TAC is a discount code to get the, the deal on this thing. So with that being said, guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red and white and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for freedom. Freedom is not free. I haven't even tightened up the handguard. That's why I was doing that. We have to seat, properly seat that barrel. With that, y'all be good. I'm out here. Boom.